All right, Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakhakwadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this word ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shah being the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this word ignorantly calls Jesus, Bahashem is in the name, Rakhakwadash is through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone uh, that rule well. And peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. I am the brother Yohanathan coming from the Great Millstone West Palm Camp uh, back with another lesson. And I'm praying that it is edifying. All right. Now, uh, this is a situation which really um, happened not too far from where I reside. But this is a situation that hey, we all can learn from. All right. Because the scriptures goes into that. And even ways of life. All right. As we grow. In this thing, you know, we call life a, a situation awareness, you know, kind of teaches that in the spirit of Paya Bashima Shah as well. Okay, so now this is a deadly, a lot of the lakes Walmart shooting involved customer trying to stop fight between two workers. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, all right, the two workers, I believe it was a man and a woman, you know, you, you already know it, it's, it always has to deal with Eve. But I digress Two workers um, Arguing Going back and forth And you know A shopper Right uh, A shop A shopper basically Intervened In a situation That he was not involved with Which caused A What's caused him to be Put to death You know And I'm not gonna make this lesson too long But again hey, We all can learn from this man and Learning to mind the business Alright That pays us Alright you know and that's the thing with a lot of jakes all right especially jakes that are effeminate all right they tend to let me, go, let me walk around the sun is beaming all right that's a that, hey, that's what happens to a lot of jakes you know especially that are effeminate you know they tend to you know captain save all right they tend to put their uh superman cape on in situations that don't involve them and then now Look at it, you know, now you done lost your life For a broad that's about to go back, you know, to the same JC arguing with, man But I don't want to ramble, let me get, um, you know what Let me read the article Okay, it says the shopper who was fatally shot inside a Lauderdale Lakes Walmart On Tuesday was a good Samaritan Who intervened in a physical fight between the, subs the um, suspected shooter and another employee at the store. The customer who got involved at the dispute was rushed to Broward, where he later died. All right, so again, basically not minding the business that pays him. Okay, now, the first scripture is Proverbs chapter 26, verse 17. He that passeth by and meddled with strife belongeth not to him, it's like one that is taking a dog by the ears, you see? <laughs> All right, hey, the scriptures, and we're going to get this one next. But the scripture says to what? It says to meddle not in many matters, man. Meddle not in many matters. All right, what does that mean, meddle? You know, matter of fact, let's get in the, let's go in the blue letter. Let's break this word down, okay? Because this is what can prevent situations like this if you mind your business, man. Okay, you know, now we live in an age where, you know, Jake want to pull out their cell phone and intervene hey, with situations that don't even involve them, man. All right. Let's see. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 17. Let's get it metal. Okay. All right. Matter of fact, let's get let's get this one. Oh, okay. This is going into I believe the Oxford the Oxford dictionary. It says metal interfere in or busy oneself unduly with something that is not one's concern. You see? Something that is not of one's concern. Alright, so again. Meddle not in many matters, man. All right, and this is 
could be something simple that you could, you know, just, uh, you know, click off the video or you could just see an article like this and keep scrolling. All right. But a, a lot of situations like this happen is real. You know, you intervene in something that doesn't even, you know, has something to do with you. And now you on the live, man. All right. So, brothers, we got to make sure that we're being diligent. We're being diligent. We're being circumspect. We're spiritually being sober. All right. Because the scripture says how the devil is roaming about seeking whom he may devour. All right. And that's spiritually, you know, mentally, you know, just waiting to catch you lacking, waiting to catch you not in a state of knowing your surroundings. Okay. And we got to be on point at all times, man. All right. Because, hey, <laughs> like we trying to stay in the spirit. A spiritual demon Satan doing his job, man. You know, he can't wait to catch you, you know, not with your shield or with your armor on, man. Okay? So, again, the middle, it basically means not to interfere with something that doesn't have to do with you, man. And this is why, again, hey, the scriptures are so important, man. All right? The scriptures are so important when it has to do, you know, with life. Okay? This is why a lot of our people... You know, are in the state that they're in right now, all right, because they're going off of the vibrations and they're going off the philosophies of Esau Edom, okay? And Esau Edom pushes nothing but sin. And like the scripture says, it says what? All right, sin it equals death. All right, so let me also get um, the book of Sirach, okay? The book of Sirach, chapter 11. Um, verse 10 and it reads my son okay my son uh, meddle not with many matters for if thy meddle much thou shalt be thou shalt not be innocent and if thy follow after and if thy follow after thou shalt not obtain neither shall thou escape by fleeing you see so you're not going to be innocent or right, if you meddling with matters that really doesn't concern you, man. All right. So, you know, again, I ain't want to make this scripture too long, but this is just, you know, uh, exhortation slash lesson. Hey, mind the business that pays you, man. All right. And this is for us brothers much more, man, because sometimes you'll be in a situation to where it's in your, it's in your nature. You know, you just want to help out. All right. It's in your nature. You just want to, you know, <laughs> say today but nevertheless hey that doesn't mind you man and it's just to show you if you do something like that hey the lord could show you all right when you don't apply the scriptures there's penalties behind it man all right for every action it's a reaction so it's just something that i wanted to bring out didn't want to make it too long but to the next time i want to give all praise glory and honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem rakakwadash the bonus to the apostles and elders, a great meal, so that we will. Peace and blessing to the elect. Next time, shalom. Ababa, Allah, shalom.